Hi everyone, it's Fiona from Stamping with Fiona here on Monday the 9th of August. Uh, so I wanted to continue the theme of celebration, which I shared with you last week. So you can earn free products with a sale of £45 or more. The majority of items are £45. There are a couple that are 90 so the Summer Shadow Dyes and the... Delicate Dahlia stamp set. I think they're the only £90 ones. The others are all 45 So today I'm going to carry on. I'm going to use the Shaded Summer again, which um, I said to you, I, until I saw the dyes in the stamp, uh, Celebration catalogue, I really hadn't noticed this, but having now got it, I'm absolutely in love with it, and the fonts are just to, to die for. So last week we used this flower here. Um, and this week we're going to use this smaller one and all the products that I'm going to use I'll explain to you at the end um, if you purchase some of them or all of them then you can earn uh, either the Bedazzling Designer Series paper well specialty paper which is that one or you can earn the dies which go with the stamp set the Summer Shadow dies there so um, I've already just to save a bit of time I've already, so this was my card that I made, so I've used the Basic Borders um, dies, which I've just got, they're great, um, so you can do all sorts of funny edgings and things like that, so my, I'm going to do another one, different, completely different style on Wednesday, and a completely different style again on Friday, just to, to show you how versatile they are. So I've cut out my Be Dazzling paper with the... Um, I don't know whether you call that an arrow or a V, so like that. Okay, so I cut down my bedazzling um, paper to ten and a half centimetres so that I didn't waste a lot, um, and then that's about five centimetres wide. And the designer series paper that I have used is from the Pansy. Um, must let me get the name right for you. Pansy Petals, okay, and that's the uh, 12 by 12, and that is actually the reverse, so they've got flowers on one side and, and gingham on the other on some of them. Um, and then I stamped this one from Shaded Summer using my, my Stampin' Right markers. Now this one is, so, th so the Designer Series paper is Fresh Freesia. But it's a bit pale when you stamp it with just the black, with the um, markers. So that's gorgeous grape, although that is fresh freesia ribbon, and then that's granny apple green. But what I wanted to do is just show you how different things look when you, you change up the colour scheme. So uh, I've got my basic white thick cardstock made into um, a tent fold. So that's ten and a, well twenty one centimeters scored at ten and a half by fourteen point eight. I've already die cut my Be Dazzling specialty paper. I've cut, um, so you see, that's the pansy paper on one side and that's the pale papaya gingham on the other. I've just marked it where I need it to there and I have got a bit of ribbon ready. So I'm just going to put this together and then I'm going to show you a couple of tips um, of how I did things. Um, so I need my favourite just check I've got oh that's getting a bit low but use another one in case that runs out halfway through so I'm just going to um, attach my specialty paper the bedazzling to my gingham um, because I want to put the ribbon around it before I put it onto the cardstock um, it's just much easier to do it that way so there we go so both these bits um, were cut to ten and a half centimetres by five centimetres. And then as you can see, I've just literally glued the bead dazzling. That is stunning uh, over the top of it. Now I'm going to put my ribbon. Just glue that on the back, makes it a bit easier. And I'm going to do a knot um, because it makes it too bulky if there's a, a bow. And I hope I've allowed enough. Even I thought I was allowing plenty of ribbon, but let's move that along a bit. If not, I'll cut some more. I 
in fact if this is too short I'll show you a, a little um, trick to save you having to cut a whole entire new piece no that is too short so what I'm going to do I'm going to stick that down there and I'm going to stick that over the top just need to line it up right I'm going to cut that bit off this bit might be long enough no it's not right I'm just going to get another bit of ribbon And all I'm going to do with this is tie it in a knot. So I'm even going to do it before I take it off. There's a much easier way to do it is to put your ribbon round before you cut it on the spool. Um, but I was trying to be well prepared, best laid plans and all that. There we go. So just to cut it there. Cut it there. Uh, oops, sorry, just knocked the stand. So I'm now going to um, just use a glue dot to stick the knot over the top, like that. So I didn't end up having to, to waste that bit that I'd already cut and uh, cut a whole other bit out. So I'm just going to now stick that onto here. And so that's going on the base of the card, bottom of the bottom half of the card. Sorry, I should say. Just line that up. Okay. So there we have it. That's beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Okay. Um, then I've already um, stamped using pale papaya and soft succulent right markers, which I did show you next last week, but I'm, I'm going to show you again now. And then I die cut that. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I did that. So um, I'm going to do the leaves first, mainly because there's so many of them that the flowers will be dry by the time I got through them all if I did them first. Oops, I keep banging things today. I'm being very clumsy. I do apologise. How was everyone's weekend? I had a really lovely weekend. We saw some friends they came to visit yesterday that we haven't seen for two years. Um, so it was really lovely and they noticed a huge difference in my husband. So he had a stroke three years ago. So, right, okay. And then I'm just gonna do the flowers in pale papaya. And you see, I'm just doing it sideways on. And they're quite juicy, these pens, so you must never ever use your Stampin' Right blends on here because you'd never get it off. But the right markers will just, uh, they're water based, so they'll come off. Right, then they're very technical again. And press it down. And there you go. And then I just die cut that with the um, Shaded Summer dies, which are available in celebration. So it was this one. And you just angle it and cut it out. I mean, you could fussy cut it, but I just think uh, free with a £45 purchase, what's not to love? Okay, I'm just going to get my chamois and quickly give that a clean. If I don't do it straight away, I'll forget. And then... Um, I'll go back and the stamps. It's okay if it's light colours, but when they're dark colours, um, they really stain. So let's just get that away. Okay. And then I've got some dimensionals, which I did get out earlier. I don't need that one on. I'll use that for something else. Okay, 
end of a strip, start a new one. I don't know why it's a love starting a new strip of dimensionals. A bit sad, really. I don't know, I always loved stationery. used to love going back to school in September with new um, pencil case and pens and notepads and stuff. There we go. So now all I'm going to do um, is just have that slightly over the... I think that's beautiful, actually. Let's just get the backs of the dimensionals off. And then I'm just going to run through the products with you so that you can see um, that just by, by buying a few of the products that I've used, you can earn um, either your choice of the paper, the dazzling papers. Let's have it. There we go. That's beautiful. And I just need a sentiment, so how about hello you? Okay, and I just put the sticky on it. So again, I'll show you how I do that. So I peel it off the, just put it on a block and get my, I can never remember what this is called, tool. And just peel that, I hope you can see this. Let's check on the camera with this. Just peeling that off. Okay, so that's the sticky side up. And then, hello you. Try not to get my head in the way of the camera. There we go. And then that's, so now when I stamp, I know exactly what it looks like um, to line it up and everything. And this is a D block, um, and the reason I use a D block is really because um, you can fit the majority of stamps onto it. So again, I'm just doing it kind of sideways, and then hello you, and then we are done. So I just wanted to run through with you how you can earn these um, amazing freebies from Stampin' Up. So, what I've used, I've used the Shaded Summer, ugh, I can't speak, Shaded Summer Stamp Set, and, um, isn't it typical, I wrote it all out and now I've lost it, let's see if I can find it, so, I've used the Shaded Summer Stamp Set, which is £21, and I've used, um, Stampin' Right markers, which are twenty-seven fifty. So straight away you've hit your first target, your first threshold of forty-five pounds. So you could then earn the bedazzling paper. If, however, you wanted the dies, you need to spend ninety pounds. So what I did was I added on a pack of um, thick Whisper White cardstock which you would get 48 cards out of because it's a pack of 24 and you get two from each, um, each sheet. Um, the ribbon was £7.50 and what else did I add on? Oh, the pick-me-up tool, which is £9 and my block, the, which as I said is the D block, which you can pr pr ugh, fit pretty much most size of um, punches on. And I'll just show you because, sorry, not punches, stamps. I'll just show you because um, when you first look you think oh this wouldn't fit on and in fact it doesn't however there there's, where there's a will there's a way so that's bigger if you put it like that way it wouldn't fit but if you put it diagonally you get virtually all of it and that's only the edge and then when you press down um, you will get a good image from that so that's the D, um, the D block so I will add all of this to the post and um, to my blog um, but basically with the purchase of all of the things that I've used oh and the basic border dies so they're 27 pounds as well you would then be able to get the um, summer shadow dies um, you wouldn't be able to get both you'd be able to get this which was a 90 pound spend or this which was a 45 pound spend 
Um, but trust me, there's so much else in the catalogue, it's really not hard um, to spend a lot. Anyway, I hope you like that. Um, I don't know which one I like best, actually. I, I think they're, they're both beautiful in different ways. So I, I'd normally go for those colours, but actually they're really calling to me. Anyway, I hope you like those today. Um, I'd love it if you um, would buy through me, uh, like this post, share and watch me on YouTube. And my blog is www.stampingwithfiona.com and you can access my Stampin' Up shop there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.